In this particular video, we are going to talk about the difference between RS-232 and RS-485. I will try to make this concept easy for you to understand, but if in the case you haven't watched our earlier videos about RS-232 and RS-485, I recommend you to watch these videos first and then come up to this video. If in the case you are going to decide between RS-485 and RS-232, you will definitely able to understand the difference between RS-232 and RS-485. In spite of dozens of new kits on the block, RS-232 and RS-485 remain still popular. And for the good reason, they both work very fine in applications such as medical equipment, industrial wireless control, robotics, and other scientific equipments. And when we talk about especially SCADA in the control system, RS-232 and RS-485 is much required in that cases. If we have to decide the difference between RS-232 and RS-485, there are a few very important factors such as distance of the operation, number of the transmitters and receiver, electrical noise, data speed, and mode of operation. If you talk about the distance, how long RS-485 can work and RS-232, RS-485 have a better edge because RS-485 can extend up to 1200 meters, whereas your RS-232 can extend only up to 15 meters. If you talk about the speed, of RS-232 communication, RS-232 provide you 20 kilobits per second speed. On another end, RS-485 provides 10 megabits per second. RS-232 is a just point-to-point -point network, whereas your RS-485 network can be implemented in a multi-point topology. On RS-232 network, you can connect one device. It's just point-to-point. -point. RS-485 can connect up to 32 slave devices. When we talk about the mode of operation, RS-485 is single-ended. Mode of operation for RS-485 is differential time. And when we talk about the cost of RS-232, it's costly as compared to RS-485. When we talk about the electrical noise difference between RS-232 and RS-485, RS-232 is a voltage level based system that functions well when the difference in the ground reference potential are minimal. But in electrically noisy machines or equipment and locations with the different potential level, RS-232 can prove too fragile and allow data corruption. On another end, RS-485 is very suitable for electrically noisy environment. The bottom line is, if your need is low speed over short distance, for sure RS-232 is the best choice for you. If your requirement calls for the faster data rate of a longer distance, for sure your choice should be RS-485. That's all for today. If in the case you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.